Hello guys. So this video, we will enable tracking. So basically tracking in a way to track the entry and the editing for your features. Because this feature class, we will create it in a way that so many people can edit it, especially using the collector app. So maybe we have different users who are using the collector app to enter the intersections in the streets of Atlanta. So that means we need to keep track of who entered the new data and what time was that and then who last edited this data and what time is that so the way to enable the tracking and make sure that you track all the entries for your features is by right click on the feature class and go to manage and say enable editor tracking and when you click enable editor tracking as you see we got an error here saying that there is a schema lock and that's because we need to go to our map we need to make sure that there is no editing not saved as you see here I entered the point in the previous video and I didn't save it so now I need to save it and say yes and when I go back and say enable editing tracking it will be working and when you say enable editor tracking you will see that now it's enabled automatically and what this does it will create a new four fields for us so if we go back here and right click and say open attribute table you will see that now we have four new fields automatically created for us created user and this save a text for the name of the user who entered this data and this is the date will be automatically using to create the date and the time where this point is created and here the last edited user and here the last edited date and this field is type date this type text this type date and type text so this is one of the ways you can create your tracking and as you see right now, whenever I enter a new intersection, let's enter one right here, you will see that right now the date is saved based on right now, this is a time right now, and this is my name as the user. And if I made any changes for this point, so let's say for example, I will move it to here. You will see that the date will automatically change when I save, yes you will see that the date changed here after a few seconds or after one minute I did edit. So anytime anyone do edits, you will see the name of the user who did the edit and the time this edit have been done. So you can keep tracking of the entry and the editing of your data. Also, there is another way to enable editing. So you can come back here to catalog. You can right click on any feature class, go to the properties window and you will see that you have a tab here called editor tracking. When you click on it, you will see that it's enabled so you can disable it again from here and when you disable it the fields that have been created it's not gonna be deleted but the names of the users and the dates is not gonna be saved if you disable the enable tracking so we will enable it again or you can just say cancel so we can keep the tracking but this is the other way you can enable the tracking by coming here and say enable tracking and also you can define uh, the date and the time you want to save it based on U2C time or database time and database time will be your local time where your database is saved. So let's cancel here and see what other way we can enable tracking. You can also do the same thing using the geoprocessing. So here we can say enable tracking and you can use this one again, same thing we did with enable global ID. If you have like uh, so many feature classes and you need to enable tracking for all of them, you don't have to go through each one of them and say enable tracking. You can just create a model builder do iteration and enable tracking for all the feature classes you want to create enable tracking for. The only difference we have when you use the geoprocessing, you have the option to define the fields for each of this entry. So if you run this tool right away, it will create the fields, but you also can change these fields. So you can save your created date to another field and the time to another field other than the one it created automatically for you. So this is one of the differences that using the J processing tool to enable tracking gives you is you can define your own fields if you want to change the fields that save this data. So that's it for enable tracking, how you can enable it. There's three ways to enable it through geoprocessing, right click and say enable tracking or through the layer properties and enable tracking allow you to track the editing and the creation of any data you have on your map. So we'll see you on the next video so we can see how can we enable attachment. Thanks.